Hi, good morning, welcome back to Mike Makes It. Today we're having a quick look at these electronic timers. These, well this particular model is fairly old, probably added 10 years or so. Now it does have a rechargeable battery in the device which isn't user replaceable, you've got to dismantle it and that's what we're going to do now. But very, very good. Uh, some of the timers you can get, the uh, LCD display ones, very, very small display, really like ridiculously small, not usable really. This is a lot better. Um, I haven't been able to buy any of these new recently, so um, why not repair the old one? So that's what we're about to do. You can see the display in there, and that'll work fine, but the idea of the battery, of course, is gonna retain the time and date settings, and also the times you want the product to actuate. But if you unplug that from the power now, in a few seconds, you'll see that display will, um, well, disappear. If I was to press a button on it, it'll go even quicker. So there, bang, gong. So all your time of date settings, on off times are gone. So plan the day. This is exactly the same model. One I've already opened. This is the battery we've got to replace. <clears throat> it looks as if it's been leaking on the PCB. You can see the green tinge and dodgy tracks here. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to clean those up. A drop of isopropanol and uh, a couple of cotton buds. Hopefully the tracks haven't um, actually gone, but time will tell on that. Unfortunately, a couple of these, where the screws screw in to retain the lid, actually pulled through on the base. You can see there's holes there. This is where the screws would normally fit in quite a deep hole, but the pillar itself, I took it upside down. That's what's happened, this has broke away. But that's no biggie, I'll put a little bit, a little bit of sellotape around the outside. And there are still some locking tabs here to hold the whole thing together. So uh, we should be good. But hopefully I can get this battery out without too much fuss. Uh, there's quite a few cables running off to the display there. You've got the main power cables going in. There's a relay on the board also, which does the main switching. But hopefully I can just um, unsolder here, pop a new battery unsolder here, pop a new battery in, uh, and away we go. Uh, batteries off shop, Amazon of course. They were the cheapest and actually arrived absolutely on time, uh, when in fact about three weeks before the, the promised delivery time. And they only cost about a pound each. There you go. So I'll put all the links in the description as usual. But that's what we're going to be fitting today. 1.2 volt, 80 milliamp. Uh, the ones that are in the timer, 1.2 volt, 40 milliamp. So hopefully I'm not going to have a problem with it charging. Uh, we'll, time will tell on that. If we do, I'm going to spend a lot of money on it anyhow. But uh, that's what we'll do now. Get a little bit closer on the PCB, do a bit of cleaning, get the battery out, and away we go. Some of these bigger batteries have three terminals. Uh, two either for negative or positive and one for the opposite. Uh, these are just two pin, so it uh, shouldn't be too much of a drama getting it out. I think all I'm going to do here is, these are two pads, two connectors, just warm up one side and pull the battery over slightly, warm the other side, pull the battery the other way. Got to be careful you don't lift the tracks, depends on how good a quality they are. But um, we'll give it a go, just gently, gently. I haven't cleaned, in fact, I haven't cleaned the connector there, so it's not going to take too kindly for me trying to get it out. But uh, I've got this one done. So you see, I'm just gently sliding the battery out of the printer circuit board. All nice, simple stuff. Yeah, it's totally out one side. There you go, you heard that drop out, and there it is. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, we can measure that, but that's, that, well, it's going to measure virtually nothing. Not a lot of point in doing that. But, uh, yeah, that's that's where I got hold of the information. It says a trolley, T-R-O-I-L-Y. You look that up online, uh, just put trolley in, if you spelt it right, you won't end up with something with two wheels that move goods around. 
uh, it'll direct you to this or other manufacturers of a similar battery. But yeah, don't get confused with a good trolley. There you go. Right, we'll clean the tracks up with a drop of isopropanol and cotton bud. Hopefully it'll come up quite well, but you can see it is a bit gunky. Looks if like the battery may have started leaking here because it's took uh, the conformal coating off the track, but it's not actually eaten into it. So yeah, it could have made a lot more mess. So I'll go ahead and clean that up and uh, I'll come back to you when we put the battery in. Right, that's cleaned up fairly well. These are very good. I've got IPA in there. In the old, oh look, cotton bud, no end. Hang on, let's get one. There you go, these are cotton buds I've used. Uh, there are they, five inch long stick, cotton bud on the end, wooden stick. Uh, and with the isopropanol here, it's one of those you push like that and it dispenses it into a bowl here. And when you're done with it, just close it up. It's spill proof, um, bang good special that was. I'll put a link in the description. It's very handy. You haven't got to have a little container to cant into a pot, go dip in. It's all here done for you. So that's very good. I don't know if I can tell you where I got these from. If I can find a link, I'll put them in the description. They're always handy. You use them all the time. Very, very good. And it's cleaned up fairly well. The track, is, the copper itself is a little bit discolored. Doesn't matter. The pads here have come up okay. The solder came off. I've cleaned those up. Uh, cleaned the top surface here. It was starting to go a little bit green. Come up fairly well, so I'm okay with that. That's good. Is marked on the board which way the battery goes. So, let's see if we can get that the right way round. It is slightly bigger than the old battery, but I think we can still get him in and. Uh, if it is too big, I'll stick it on wires and get it out of the way. Yeah, this is standing a little bit proud. Hopefully we can get away with that. Yeah, I think we'd be okay. We'll get that soldered in. Plugged into the mains. Uh, probably half hours all it's going to need to charge our battery up. And we'll have a functional timer. And I'll do the same on the other one then. And there we go. Battery's dropped out. Let's see if we can do that again without losing the battery. Make sure it's the right way round. I don't particularly like bending these terminals over, but let's just prise them out a tad. That should be more successful this time, hopefully. There we go. I'll clean the flux off that in a minute. The display's already up and running, so hey, the battery's partly charged. So, apart from putting that back together, that's a good one. Need to reprogram it, of course. Um, reseat the board. There's a couple of little bits of plastic uh, they've included in here just to keep the uh, high voltage away from the low voltage. So I'll do that. And then get on with this brother. It does actually have a display at the minute. Can you see that? Very dim though. If I press one of the buttons, bang, gong. So yeah, this is uh, due for battery as well. So that's it. Uh, for a pound, you can fix one of these timers. And these are what I call a good timers. And yeah, there you go. Um, same principle for the, with any other timer you may have of the electronic variety. It's going to have a little... Um, uh, nickel metal high dye battery in there or lithium ion I think these are lithium ion the the new ones let's have a little look see if it gives you any clues nickel, nickel metal hydride uh, probably haven't pronounced that right but I'll, as I say link will be in the description so yeah well anyhow that's a nice simple fix get this one up and running in a second plug it back on the Christmas lights. Anyhow, well, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching Mike Makes It. Um, yeah, thumbs up would be great.